how to export high quality video for Instagram Reels. Hey, what's going on guys? Stefano Lombardo here. And today we're talking about how to export high quality video for Instagram Reels. I made a similar video to this about a year ago for TikTok and you guys loved it. So I decided to make this the program we're going to be using today is Premiere Pro. So we'll dive right in. In Premiere Pro, if you are using a different program like Final Cut Pro, for the most part, the settings will be the same. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is create a new project. We're gonna name this test and save it to our location here. All these settings will remain the same and we'll just click okay. So now that our project has been made, we're gonna go ahead and create a new sequence by going up to file, new sequence. And we're gonna create our own Instagram Reels preset here so we don't have to do these settings every single time we create a new video. We're gonna go to digital SLR, select 1080p and select DSLR 1080p 30. We're gonna go up to settings and we're just gonna change two things here. We're gonna go to 1920 and change this to 1080. And we're gonna change 1080 to 1920. We're just gonna flip them. That way our video is vertical and not horizontal anymore. And then we're gonna go to save preset and we're just gonna name this IG Reels uh, 2997 FPS at 1080 by 1920. And we're just gonna click okay. Now we can see that in our sequence presets, we have our own that we just created right now, IG Reels 29.97 FPS, 1080 by 1920. That will be there every time you create a new sequence. So what we're gonna do is select that and then name our sequence and click OK. Now that that's created, you wanna import all your footage into your project window here. Now just remember that Instagram Reels only allows up to 30 seconds of video. Once your footage is imported, we're going to drag it onto the timeline and you're going to get a clip mismatch warning. Don't worry about this. This is just because the size of the clip or the frame rate of the clip doesn't match your sequence. You're just going to click the blue button, keep existing settings. Otherwise, it will change our sequence that we just made and we don't want that. Just click the blue button, keep existing settings. So now that our video is in and it's playing, this is where you're going to do all your edits. This is where you're going to add all your color grading, all your effects. If you want to add some titles, where you want to position the video, if you want to scale it, this is where we're going to do it. So because I don't want to waste any of your time, I just repositioned the frame and added a text to it. And this is how we're going to export the footage. What you're going to do is go to the very front of the footage, mark our in, and then go to the very end and mark our out. And then we're going to go over to file, export, media, or you can use your shortcuts, control key and the M key. Now that we're at the export tab, we're gonna make a few changes here. We're gonna go down to export video and make sure that's checked and then go over to export audio, and make sure that's checked. If your video doesn't have audio, you don't have to check it. I'm not gonna check it because mine doesn't. We're gonna go to the video tab, make sure width is 1080, make sure height is 1920 and your frame rate is 29.97. You don't have to make any changes here. We're gonna select render at maximum depth. Your file size is gonna get bigger but that is okay. If you don't have the space for it, don't select render at maximum depth. We're gonna go down to encoding settings and we're actually gonna change software encoding to hardware encoding. That way it'll be faster. I always recommend for any video you make to use hardware encoding now that Premiere Pro is able to use it. We're gonna scroll down, make sure profile is set to main and make sure level is set to 4.1. All of this should be grayed out and we're gonna go down to our bitrate settings. Now that we're at our bitrate settings, we're gonna change our bitrate encoding to CBR and we're gonna change our target bit rate to 15. Now that we're done with the video tab, if you did have audio in your video, we're just gonna check this to show you the settings that we're gonna use. Audio format AAC, audio correct AAC, sample rate 48,000 hertz, channel stereo, audio quality high, bit rate 320, and precedence bit rate. Those settings should already be there. After that, we're gonna go down to use maximum render quality and we're gonna check it. Like it says, it gives better quality scaling but increases the encoding time. So if you do have time to wait for your video to be exported, I would suggest checking this. Just like our sequence preset that we made, we're gonna create an export preset so you don't have to make these settings every time you make a video. We're gonna go over to save preset and we're gonna name this IG Reels export preset. And then we're just gonna click okay. And now you can see that up here, it says preset IG Reels export preset that it's gonna to use to export the video. After that's done, we're just gonna click export and wait for it to be exported. It's gonna be super fast because the video is very short and you're gonna be using hardware encoding, so it's gonna be super fast. In less than 10 seconds, the video is exported. That's because the video is small, there's no effects on it, there's no color grading, so it's gonna be really quick to export. And as you can see, this is our video playing, and if I skip ahead, you'll see the text disappear. And that's exactly how we had it in Premiere Pro. 
From there, I'll use Google Drive to send it over to my phone so I don't get any quality loss and I am using Windows. But if you have a MacBook and you're using iPhone, I would highly suggest using AirDrop. Now, let's just say you create an entire YouTube video and you want to post a snippet to your Instagram Reels. You don't have to create a whole new project to do it. I'll show you right now. So this is my YouTube video that I posted just last week where I answer your photography questions. If you do want to watch it, it'll be linked right up here. Now, this 4K sequence that we use for YouTube is not going to fit on an IG reel. So what we have to do is create a whole new sequence by going to file new sequence. And we already made that preset called IG reels 29.97 FPS 1080 by 1920. So it's very easy. We click on that. And if your footage was 29.97 FPS, then you don't have to worry about it. But there is one change we have to make. All the footage I shot for this YouTube video was done in 24 FPS. So this 29.97 FPS timeline is not really going to work. It's going to make the video a little jittery and I don't like that. So we're going to click on it, go to settings and change the time base to 23.97 FPS. And then we're just going to click OK. Now these apps like Instagram Reels or TikTok do use 29.97 FPS, but if you do upload a video that's 23.97, you won't see a huge change. I've been doing it for so long now, and I haven't been able to tell a difference between the quality of my videos or anything like that. Now that our Instagram Reel sequence has been created, we're gonna go over to our YouTube sequence, and let's just say that this is a section of the video that I wanna create into a Reel. We're gonna select it, copy it, and we're gonna go over to our sequence and paste it. And we're just gonna, edit this color grading adjustment layer and the music layer to the size of the video. And after that's done, we're going to select it, drag it to the starting. And this is where you can make your edits. Like if your positioning is off or something, you can correct it. After that's done, we're going to go to the starting of the footage. We're going to mark our in point, go to the end, mark our out point. And we're going to go to file export media. And this is where we can use our export preset that we made called IG Reels Export Preset. And we're just gonna go over the settings to make sure everything's correct. We're gonna check export audio because we do have audio this time. We're gonna scroll down and make sure the frame rate is now 23.97 and not 29.97. It should automatically change, but if it doesn't, change it to 23.97. And everything else should be good. So now we're just gonna go to export. Again, it's gonna be super fast because we are using that hardware encoding. Our export's done and you can see that it's the size of an Instagram reel. To save you time making these presets, I've already made them and I'll link them in the bio where you can download them. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button, click that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Peace. Woo!